Bruce Lipton, when we last talked, you were talking about the place of the heart and the energy of the heart. And then I loved it when you actually referred to these airy fairy new age terms like love and you wanted to bring it down. Actually, the new age and quantum physics, science, are now meeting, aren't they? The new age Absolutely. used to be dismissed and, and called nonsense, but now science is catching up, if you like. What do you think of that? Well, this is the most important change in our perspective of science, simply based on this. Our conventional science, especially medicine, is based on what are called Newtonian physics. And Newtonian physics is an understanding of the world based on just studying the physical world. It was a science that said, you don't have to worry about invisible stuff in here. That's not relevant to you. Only worry about the physical things. The body is a physical machine. It's controlled by physical chemicals, physical genes, and we live in a physical world. And this was from Victorian England. This is when the oh. Industrial Revolution happened. Everything this, was a machine, wasn't yeah. it? Well, and, and basically, it was very necessary for science to take this approach for a simple reason. Because if it started talking about the invisible, it was stepping on the toes of the church. And that's what separated physics from metaphysics. Metaphysics says, oh, the invisible realm, spirit, and all that stuff. Well, science says, look, we can understand life without going into metaphysics. We'll just focus on the physics, the Newtonian physics. So all of biology and all of medicine is based on a physical machine run by chemicals and robots and genes and blah, 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 blah. And then we find out in quantum physics in 1925, it said, wait a minute. The human body looks like it's made out of matter. Everything in here that's physical looks like it's made out of matter. And I go, it's an illusion. Because when you look at the atoms that make it up, and the atoms are supposed to be the physical particles, when you take that atom apart and you find, oh, there are things inside, electrons, protons, neutrons. Yeah, I say, yeah, those are smaller particles. I say, but then what quantum physics said, well, what was inside the electron, proton, and neutron? And the world changed. Because what was inside was nothing physical at all. It was energy vortices, like little nano tornadoes of energy. Like space. It's it space. Is. with. Well, basically it is. So all of a sudden they say, what we see as matter is only just another form of energy. It's invisible energy. And you say, well, wait a minute, Lipton. I can see on the screen you obviously are here. And I go, if we turn the lights off in the studio, you won't see me. And everybody goes, well, uh, that sounds foolish. And I go, you know, here's what the point was. The only way you can see anything that's physical is you have to have the lights on. I said, but why is that? And I said, because the photons of light coming from the source hit the surface of the energy and then are reflected back. So I'm invisible except for the surface. I said, yeah, but the surface is invisible except for the photons that are coming from the light and bouncing back. So I can see you with the lights on, but I can't see you with the lights off. Why? because it was the photons that gave me the, the visual image. And underneath that layer of photons, there's nothing but energy on there. If I could take off the film of the outside where photons are and you looked at me, it would be an invisible screen. I am made out of energy. The table is made out of energy. But the important part about it is as long as light's hitting it, I can see it. So it's a unique form of energy. So it's a little bit like a pixelated screen. If I could really see you as you are, Bruce, you'd be a lot of little pixelated uh, of molecules. Of energy units, but not, not even molecules. They're just energy vortices, like little nano tornadoes. And, and this is where the difference is, because A, you can see me because the lights are on. Then you say, yeah, but in the dark, I can come up and say, oh, I can feel where you are. So I feel you. You must be physical. And I go, energy force. In other words, a tornado is an energy force field. I say, yeah, guess what? If you try to drive a car through a tornado and you drive right up 100 kilometers per hour up to the tornado, guess what? It'll be the same as hitting a stone wall, yet there's nothing physical there. You hit a force field and the force pushes back. And so the atoms that make up my body are nano tornadoes. There's a force field on them. So when I try to push through your energy, my energy is buffed up, buffered by yours pushed back. So I'm pushing on you, I feel you, but the fact is, I'm just feeling the energy of where you are. So now I want you to take this right down into the individual, what is inside that creates me as me, Bruce, and you as Bruce. Ooh, what makes a, Liz a, and Bruce? A, a very interesting topic into itself because the first thing we have to recognize, is let's go back to quantum physics for a minute because that ties us back to the new age. And the new age says, oh, energy interacts with my physical body, old vision. No, physical body affected by physical things. So therefore, we don't talk about energy. Quantum physics says, no, everything is energy. So the invisible energy that surrounds us, cell phones, television broadcasts, radio broadcasts, coming through this room right now, are entangling with my energy. 
And all of a sudden, what we now know from quantum physics that the energy of the field can shape the physical structure of matter. And all of a sudden it says, wait, new physics. Energy is the sole governing agency of the particle. Particle is matter. The energy, invisible, is the sole governing agency of matter. All of a sudden, quantum physics says, you know what you left out as Newtonian physics? You left out the invisible field. Now it turns out, not only is the invisible field present, but it is more powerful in influencing you than the physical field. And all of a sudden, so let's add the last definition to tie it off, and that is, so what do physics call the field? What's the definition of the field, the energy around us? And, the, and here it is, definition of field. Invisible moving forces that influence the physical world, okay? Yes. Then I say, coincidence. Couple thousand years, give me the definition of spirit. Invisible moving forces that influence the physical world. So spiritual understanding was left out of the scientific equation because we ignored the energy. Quantum physics come back in and says, what you left out, what other people used to call spirit, is the invisible forces that influence us. So the new biology is what? Based on the invisible stuff that we've left out of the equation. How do you feel about something? And Things like that. And this, John, is what you're doing so much in... Yeah, in that's where mind-body medicine works, energy medicine works, even ozone, with the, which is very rich in negative ions. So Being we're able using field physics science, yeah. which is a very, very inexpensive way of getting massive outcomes very quickly. But it's the new frontier of medicine, it's a new isn't frontier. it? Oh, absolutely. See, because conventional medicine has been locked into the physical model. So it's your physical body, then if I want to give you a medicine, it has to be a physical medicine to affect a physical body. Interesting, and I get a chance to say it because I know it from the heart, the pharmaceutical industry sells physical medicine. They can't sell energy. You can't put it in a capsule. You can't put it in a tablet. So the idea is, if energy becomes a source of healing, is it of any interest to the pharmaceutical industry? Zero. I can't sell it to you. It's free. Where am I going to make money? So guess what? The money from the pharmaceutical industry, which is one of the biggest industries on the entire planet, is suppressing the knowledge of energy healing and energy because it's a business model. I can't sell it, so let's don't talk about it. So in medical school, which is controlled mainly by the money from this industry, this topic is not even really discussed very much because it is counter to the business interest of the pharmaceutical industry. That's fascinating, and yet more and more people like me are trying the ozones and the, and the other ways, the less tangible ways of healing our bodies and finding incredible results. We'll talk more about yeah. this, Bruce, in, in the next program. Well, and I just want to say, as, as we close off, this is why I'm so excited about John's work because John's work is saying, look, this other field has been left out because of interests of other people. But it's the most important field because it is, according to quantum physics, the source of control. So energy medicine and energy healing and vibration and all that is the new frontier. But it's completely and absolutely science-based. Many people don't understand the science. Nonetheless, it's science-based. E equals mc squared, which is similar to what Bruce is saying. Energy, physics, matter, yes. light photons. Einstein put it together over 110 years ago. The science is there. We just need to understand it and apply it tangibly and for positive benefits. Wonderful. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you, Bruce. You.